Welcome back on an epic journey, as we unravel the remarkable tale of Lu Sheng, a beacon of hope born in poverty, wielding the divine gift of strength to defy destiny and safeguard humanity from its impending reckoning. In the last chapter, Lu Sheng, after receiving the sponsorship money, opted to create his own tonic using the recipe obtained from the Fire Sea project instead of purchasing one from the market. Utilizing the raw materials at his disposal, he successfully replicated the recipe for the muscle and blood enhancing potion. The resulting tonic surpassed anything available in the market, offering far superior effects at a significantly lower cost. Alright folks, let's set our sights high today, our goal is 600 likes. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. He Lingzu walked elegantly out of her car and approached her pharmacy. At only 20 years old, she possessed a graceful figure and a gentle countenance. While she should have been enjoying life like a flower, she had taken on the burden of her family's responsibilities at an early age. The He family had traditionally made a living through their pharmacy business, with ancestors who were renowned fifth-level pharmacists in Baihe City. However, by the time it reached her father's generation, the family's fortunes had declined. During her grandfather's time, the He family had flourished, with their Xingshantang branches spanning several provinces and numbering over a hundred. Yet now, only two branches remained in Baihe City. The world of martial arts is evolving rapidly, and the medical industry, intertwined with martial arts, is constantly changing. New and improved prescriptions are being developed daily, while old ones are being rendered obsolete. The reason for the He family's decline to this point lies in their conservative and outdated approach, adhering strictly to old traditions without considering progress. I don't even think about whether the martial arts tonic that was popular a hundred years ago can still sell well now. At that time, many people couldn't even afford a pair of nourishing blood powder with a monthly salary. Only by bringing forth the new through the old is the best way to save my he family's current predicament, he Lingsu lamented. She had always followed this principle. Over the past period, she had tirelessly searched for a new martial arts tonic everywhere, hoping it could serve as a flagship product to revitalize the he family's business. However, after half a year of effort, little progress had been made. Just yesterday, she learned that an old pharmacist in the neighboring city had recently developed a new tonic, prompting He Lingsu to rush over immediately. Unfortunately, halfway through her journey, she received a call informing her not to come, as the new drug had already secured a partnership. Disheartened, He Lingsu returned home empty handed. Miss He, you're back. The young man in a white coat greeted her as soon as she entered. He Lingsu, Feeling dejected and preoccupied, merely nodded in response, lacking the energy to engage in conversation. Having managed the family's pharmacy for so long, she was well aware of the character flaws of the shop assistants. This particular clerk, named Ma Fei, was lazy, frequently late to work, and had even been caught stealing tonics from the store to sell. Despite several warnings, he showed no signs of remorse. If he Lingsu could find a suitable replacement, she would have dismissed Ma Fei without hesitation. It's a shame, you're so beautiful. If only you could be my girlfriend. Ma Fei's gaze lingered on He Lingsu's departing figure before reluctantly shifting away. He Lingsu had always been the object of Ma Fei's romantic fantasies. The reason he remained at Xingshantang despite its dwindling business was because he harbored hopes that He Lingsu might one day return his affections. Though the odds of such a scenario were slim, it didn't dampen Ma Fei's dreams. After all, he saw it as the perfect combination of love and career, a pinnacle of life's achievements. Ma Fei was lost in his thoughts, sprawled across the counter, when suddenly He Lingsu's figure appeared before him once again. Ma Fei was jolted upright, hastily wiping the drool from the corner of his mouth with his sleeve. At that moment, He Lingsu's usually serene expression had transformed into one of icy displeasure, her features contorted with anger. Did you sneak someone into my pharmacy's mixing room? Ma Fei vigorously shook his head in denial, but the flickering uncertainty in his eyes betrayed him. He Lingsu, reading the signs, was almost certain of his guilt. Forget it, you don't have to come to work tomorrow, He Lingsu declared, her tone indifferent. Ah. Miss He, Miss He, please listen to my explanation. Ma Fei pleaded desperately, but He Lingsu ignored him, swiftly turning on her heel and exiting the scene. Already in a foul mood, encountering such an incident only fueled He Lingsu's frustration. In her free time, she often conducted research on new drugs in the lab, making her intimately familiar with every aspect of the compounding room. Upon entering the lab earlier, she immediately noticed signs of tampering. Items had been disturbed, and there was an unmistakable musky odor lingering in the air, a stark contrast to the room's usual sterile environment. 
Fuming with rage, Yilingsu began tidying up, her movements sharp and purposeful. Snatching up the pharmacist's gown, now tainted with a foreign scent, she tossed it unceremoniously into the trash. All utensils must be washed again, and the table disinfected, she ordered briskly, her fastidious nature leaving no room for compromise. If circumstances permitted, she would have disposed of everything and procured a fresh set without a second thought. He links who examined the remnants of the unused lizard scale, the most valuable ingredient, left behind by the person who had used her lab. She realized that many individuals were attempting to create their own tonics, but developing a new formula wasn't as simple as it seemed. It required thorough and in-depth research, not just a desire to create something new. He links whose initial reaction was one of disgust as she noticed the used flask on the floor, containing remnants of a light pink liquid. Despite her grimace, she inexplicably found herself donning gloves to retrieve the flask from the ground. Then, against her better judgment, she tasted the liquid inside. She stood there, stunned by her own actions, momentarily speechless. Thought she laughed at herself, shaking her head in disbelief. Ten minutes later, Mafei was in the midst of departing. The prospect of no longer seeing the object of his infatuation, the goddess in his heart, filled him with regret. If only I hadn't been so greedy for a few extra bucks. You've doomed me, you brat, Mafei lamented to himself as he exited the pharmacy, casting a wistful glance backward. God, just let me have one more glimpse of my goddess. He prayed silently. To his utter disbelief, his wish seemed to be granted. He watched in astonishment as he linked so hurried towards him, her expression a mix of tension, anxiety, and urgency. Mafei couldn't believe his eyes. Was his wildest fantasy actually coming true? The plots from those novels, once mere escapism, now appeared to be materializing before his very eyes. An overwhelming sense of joy and excitement surged within him as he eagerly called out, Lingsu. He Lingsu's eyes lit up at the sight of Mafei standing, waving enthusiastically. Without hesitation, she rushed towards him, seizing his clothes and speaking urgently, You're still here. This is perfect. I need to ask you something very important. Mafei's face brimmed with excitement and happiness as he Lingsu approached him. However, he Lingsu frowned at being addressed by Mafei, but she pushed aside her irritation, there were more pressing matters at hand. Who did you bring into the lab today? I need to see him. Right now. Immediately. He Lingsu demanded urgently. Mafei was taken aback, realizing that he Lingsu's reaction was quite different from what he had anticipated. Are you deaf? I said I want to see the person you brought into the mixing room today. Find him now. And if you can, I promise not only will you keep your job at Zingshantang, but I'll double your salary. He Lingsu's tone brooked no argument. Mafei quickly snapped out of his daze, reaching for his phone with a sense of urgency. I have his contact information, he said, his voice tinged with a hint of excitement. Give it to me. He Lingsu demanded, her impatience evident. Time was of the essence. He Lingsu's anxiety was fueled by the pharmacological analysis report she had just received, a report that was nothing short of astounding. The potency of this tonic is over ten times greater than similar products on the market costing less than 100,000 yuan. Not only that, it boasts additional benefits like whitening and muscle building. Moreover, its main components are common medicinal materials readily available on the market. And, based on initial estimates, the production cost is no more than 5,000 yuan. What's more, there's no existing tonic on the market with similar properties. In other words, it's a new product, a revolutionary tonic that's yet to hit the market. With all these factors considered, he links who sensed an unprecedented business opportunity unfolding before her. The prospect of saving the He family's business seemed closer than ever before. Lu Sheng was deeply engrossed in his practice when the phone suddenly rang. The small room was nearly engulfed by the steam, resembling a sauna in full operation. Thick white vapor filled every corner, creating an atmosphere that would trick anyone stepping inside into thinking they had entered a steam room. The source of this vapor was none other than Lu Sheng himself. Every pore on his body seemed to emit intense heat, akin to a kettle nearing its boiling point. Amidst the hazy mist, the muscles on Lu Sheng's body trembled rhythmically, appearing to pulsate and expand with each breath. The latent power beneath his skin was palpable, even visible to the naked eye. After completing the final move, Lu Sheng remained seated, his chest rising and falling with each labored breath. Streams of white vapor flowed in and out of his nostrils and mouth, resembling ethereal serpents dancing around the room. After what felt like an eternity, the steam gradually dissipated, and Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes. 
the stellar body refining technique truly lived up to its reputation as the most potent body refinement method of the future, it unlocked the human body's potential to unimaginable levels. If this progress continued, perhaps Lu Sheng might even cultivate a star within his body. The natural breathing method was equally remarkable. Its formidable recovery abilities were indispensable for maximizing the effects of body training. Lu Sheng clenched his fists, reveling in the newfound power coursing through his veins. With a sense of satisfaction, he acknowledged, my vitality has increased significantly. The muscle and blood enhancing potion has proven highly effective. Considering my current physique, two servings a day suffice, and any more would be excessive. With twelve servings, I have enough for six days. After that, I'll need to procure more. With a determined resolve, Lu Sheng prepared to embark on his journey toward further self-improvement. The sudden ring of his mobile phone interrupted Lu Sheng's contemplation. He picked it up to find He Lingsu on the other end, introducing herself as the owner of the lab he had rented earlier. She expressed interest in meeting him to discuss collaboration on the new tonic he had prepared. With calm composure, Lu Sheng responded, We can meet a week from now, before promptly hanging up the phone. Meanwhile, He Lingsu reinstated Ma Fei in charge of the pharmacy and tasked him with finding Lu Sheng as soon as possible. She even offered a reward of 10,000 yuan for each day Ma Fei successfully shortened the time it took to locate Lu Sheng in the coming week. With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.